Where are we? Look, it's Cambalar's castle. Mila! You're okay! <laughs> Mila, I missed you! Am I glad to see you? I'm so glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Mila? Oh. Do I know you? I've never seen you before. Huh? Why, I am your elder sister. Sister? I don't have a sister. What's going on, Muse? This may be our first time speaking true. Yet we are both spirits born into this world at nearly the same time. Well, you definitely are a spirit. That much I can believe. <laughs> no need to be so suspicious. What could a spirit gain from impersonating your sister? You are Maxwell, after all. That's true, it wouldn't gain her anything. Why did you appear before Ju? <laughs> because you summoned me before him, or rather, your powerful feelings for him summoned me. Really? Could that even be possible? I don't know. I'll admit I've been hearing a voice in my dreams. Hold that thought. So, the information was correct. Attention! Attention! I am Gillen. You have my most sincere apologies for forcibly occupying your city. Please understand that subjugation is not our goal. Such extreme measures were only necessary to prevent an apocalyptic war between two superpowers. You have my word that we at Exodus will do all in our power to preserve your safety and your livelihood. We desire the same thing you do. Eternal peace, or Maxia. I despise that man, Gilland. He promotes peace, even as he uses Spyrex to hurt humans and spirit kind alike. We may have no choice but to eliminate him and his group. I agree. How will we do that? Those people have armored soldiers and flying ships and big cannons and... 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 Alvin, it's time you came clean. You should tell us everything you know. Alvin! I assume Gaius won't stand for this. He is inviting us in. Frankly, I'm surprised he even revealed himself to us. Maybe they're testing us? It's not a trap, is it? What are we waiting for? Let's go. What happened? I'm on the straight and narrow now. I promise. And why would we believe you this time? I have a score to settle with Gillen. Let me be the one to finish him off. If I betray you again, you have my permission to run me through with that sword of yours. So let me come with you. And if I refuse? Then I'll kill him on my own. Very well. Thanks. I appreciate it. We have to find out what Gaius is planning. Yeah. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah. 
Muse asked me to. Was that bad? B bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something... you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the schism. Does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped. And Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism, or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is... Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits, and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying, Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But... 
That doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... He's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Campbellar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. What do you want? Um, it's about Zhao. He's dead. Did you think he somehow survived that? Know what I heard? I heard he died protecting a spoiled little brat and her stuffed dolly. A fitting end for a foolish old man. How can you? Don't you talk that way about him! You got a problem with me saying the truth? That's enough, Agria. It's not even close to enough. The lives of the Chimeriad belong to His Highness. But that old fool threw his away for some sniveling brat. That's true, but his sacrifice did give His Highness a chance to escape. <laughs> he was an idiot right until the end. Always giving me candy when he saw me, like I was some sort of little kid. He just needs to die already. He did. <sighs> With Zhao gone, the offensive might of the Chimeriad has diminished sharply. Bah! I'm all the offensive we need. That goes for you too, Grandma. No one will miss you when you kick off. I'm relieved to hear that. Just you watch! I'll protect His Highness all by myself! <laughs> I'm getting a headache. How am I supposed to relieve this stress when there's no one left to talk to or have a drink with? So... that's it? We're never gonna see Zhao again! My neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel marsh flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize? Saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. Wingle, there's something I would like to ask you. 
Am I correct in my understanding that you led Arjul's armies at Fezabel Marsh? Using boosters to move through the marsh was a brilliant strategy. Are you mocking me? That strategy played right into Gillen's hands. You aren't the only one who failed to see through Gillen's facade. I share the same shame. I didn't realize someone who turned his back on his duty had any honor left to lose. Is that what you're doing here? Some sad attempt to return to the battlefield and erase your shame? How can you say that? Don't you make fun of Rowan? He's a great guy for someone who's so old! You were a skilled tactician in your prime, I grant you that. But how much of that skill remains today? Former Chief of Staff Ilbert, care to play a game? A game, you say? A mock battle, using a real military map. But of course I would understand if you were reluctant to see how time has ravaged your talents. You don't need to buy into this. I accept. This board lets us control data from historic battles, and see different ways they might play out. And what battle is this data from? Twenty years ago, on the Fezabel Outback. The Battle of Fezabel. The struggle between the armies of Rashigal and the former king of Ajul. Correct. It was a tragic battle, in which both armies suffered heavy casualties from a giant tsunami. It was Ilbert the Conductor's one and only draw. And you wish to recreate that battle now? This is no recreation. If I had led Ajul into battle, we would have won. That is what I will prove here today. Formation Ichthys. All troops advance. The core of the Rashigal army is being pushed back. Left and right troops spread out to the wings. Surround the enemy's vanguard. It's no good. The vanguard is unstoppable. What is this power? That's Gaius's unit. Their first time in battle. You won't surround them so easily. Both wings advance. Circle to the enemy's flank. Planning to launch a counterattack from my flank? Such a boring and predictable response. I'll simply attack while your troops are changing course. This battle will be won before the tsunami hits. The enemy is turning faster than Rashigal. Look out! All troops maintain forward movement. Your goal is the high ground behind the Ajul army. What? Rashigal's army is assembling on the hill. It's over. It is impossible to defeat a defending army on high ground in so short a time. Soon the tsunami will come and engulf the plains. You will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> and this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for the match, Conductor. We will settle this in a different way. <laughs> Sore loser! You did great, Rowan. It's because I failed in the past. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing, even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. I may even grow out of these clothes one day. Didn't we agree that I would kill you for this sort of thing? Good luck killing me when you're dead. You got a message earlier today. What did it say? What's it matter? At first, I thought you were just in shock over Gillen's betrayal. But the timing wasn't quite right. 
My mother is dead. It happens. All humans die. Is that your idea of sympathy? <laughs> First Gillen betrays me, then my mother dies. Life sure is peachy. Do you still want to return to Olympias? What other choice do I have? But I'm not going to die. What's that got to do with anything? Would you consider staying in Riza Maxia? What? Would that be so terrible? You'd be with Jude, and me, and everyone else. You're the first person to offer me something like that after finding out who I really am. You're out of your mind. Sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh? As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude. 
Do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh! Why can't we all stick together? <laughs> what shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roof to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. <laughs> 